Let me just start this video by saying, yes, dude, I know that Tom Brady is the GOAT. Bruh. There's no question Tom Brady's a GOAT, so let's just put that out there, okay? But for some reason, for Tom Brady's fans, whether that's Patriots who've now bandwagoned to the Buccaneers, literal Tom Brady diehards, or Buccaneers fans who are so grateful for him, when is enough enough, okay? We get it. He's the GOAT. He's the greatest football player of all time. Why do you have to be on Twitter so mad? Relax. You have the best player of all time on your team. Nobody's arguing that. Okay, this isn't a LeBron Jordan debate. There's no debate. Nobody's in his realm, other than maybe he will Ooh. clap. He has to retire still, so we'll see. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! The reason I start out with this rant is because I tweeted this out after the Buccaneers-Cowboys game. How is Tom Brady the GOAT if he has the most interceptions of any quarterback this season? Okay, number one, obvious bait. An actual nine-year-old with 35 IQ could tell you that that is bait. I'm fishing, okay? I'm just joking. And my tweets usually do all right, but this one kind of popped off. 16,000 likes, 105 quote tweets. And I'm like, oh, people think this is funny. No, that's not what it was. People were hissed about this. I had people like actually DMing me how upset they were that I would say such a thing about Tom Brady. And I want to walk you through some of them because they're so funny. There's also some funny replies too. Here's my first one. What's your point, idiot? 300 regular season games. Oh, shiver my timbers. Shut up, man. R slash whoosh. <laughs> Dude, he's literally encouraging Pat McAfee to be pissed at me. At Pat McAfee Show, you follow this adolescent tool. <laughs> Hopefully this is just another charity case like you did for the old bald spot. I don't even know what he's talking about here. Julius Caesar is absolutely not having it. He also has the most rings out of anybody who played. Just shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Because when it matters the most, he always seems to get it done. For the last 20 years, in one possession games, and he gets the ball, at least he always comes come through in the big way. Sorry, I had a stroke during the middle of that, but you get the idea. Man is on pace for 34 interceptions right now. What's funnier than anything about this whole thing is Tom Brady realistically threw zero interceptions that game. Like, I know you can't go back through and change the stat, but if there's a way where you're kind of supposed to, they do this in baseball a little bit. I almost think they should. Leonard Fournette, stone hands, and then a Hail Mary. Like, the Hail Mary is a 50-50 ball. You have to chuck it up in case your team catches it, but, you know, it's still an interception on his record. Brady has more interceptions than Jameis Winston. Jameis Winston might be be in the top three for NFL MVP right now. Whoa, 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 now. Nah. You got too much dip on your chill. Uh, this is in Spanish, but I'm guessing this says facts, no opinions. I don't know what that means. I'm sure some of you can help me out, but. More interceptions tonight than Peyton Manning had in the past five years. Yeah! That's a good one. I like that one. Who is your goat then? And who will pass Brady's Super Bowl records playing 20 plus years, put O line in front of him and some weapons to throw plus running backs? He got bored winning rings, GOAT minus three, he lost. He almost might be reverse baiting me. This is such a bad reply. He's either blackout drunk posting this or he's reverse baiting me. I don't know the stats offhand, but I bet he has one of the highest throw slash play percentages. Favre is one of the greatest of all time, but holds the record for most interceptions in a season slash career. <laughs> Bro, what? The season just started. Pipe it down. Only thing I'm piping down is your mom, bud. They should suspend your account for 24 hours for saying something like that. Also, this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. You guys know I love Manscaped. I talk about them all the time. And in case you've been living under a rock, they recently dropped the greatest ball trimmer on the planet, an upgrade from the Lawnmower 3.0. This is the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a waterproof electric trimmer, and you can get this with the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase the Performance Package 4.0 bundle. The Performance Package is probably the most efficient way to be ready for just about any moment. One more 4.0 will knock out a ton of that. It's waterproof so you can shave in the shower. That's huge. Got a little LED light to help guide you. And the ceramic blade up here is actually replaceable and it comes with skin safe technology. Gonna help prevent any accidents you might have. And once you're done in the shower, you've got the Crop Preserver Ball Toner. You've got the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. Unbelievably slept on. This has saved me at so many festivals I went to this year. Thank you, Manscaped. I love you. For a little midday refresher, you've got the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. I just keep that 
out of my car in case I need it. They've also got the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. The amount of people I know who don't trim their nose hair, kind of disgusting actually. It looks so bad and it's so noticeable. You're definitely gonna want this. And when you grab the performance package, you'll get two free gifts, Manscaped boxer briefs and the Shed travel bag. So go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping and those two free gifts at manscaped.com forward slash MMG or you can just click the link right in the top of the description it'll take you right there. Highly recommend. I use my performance package every day. It's all I need really. But that's all Manscaped. Thank you for sponsoring guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. All you cowgirls fans are alike. I guess you preferred them over your Lions bandwagon poser. Are you acknowledging that I'm not actually a cowgirls fan while also calling me a cowgirls fan? We're one game into the season. Oosh. He also has the most Super Bowl wins. Oosh. LMAO, did you see how his balls were picked? Whoosh. This is my kind of reply. Dallas literally hasn't won a single game all season and Zeke has like 30 yards. This is their year. This season versus the one other QB that played a regular season game? How is Stafford the best QB in Lions history with no Super Bowl win? With that logic, every Lions QB ever sucks. My point still stands. Ouch. Woo. Ouch. That one hurts. Wow. Official John got ratioed. Damn. It's tough. It's a tough day on Twitter if official John gets ratioed. Official John is a walk. W. Let me see. He has more rings than anyone. He's still beating all QB1s in the league. He's been in the league for 21 years. Pick one. I pick... The rings weighs down his hand. That's one metric. The others could be TDs and wins. Both of which he's leading the league in right now using your own logic. LOL. <laughs> Damn, bro, the ghost of Anne Hathaway's husband just clapped my cheeks. Remember, I tweeted this right after the Thursday night football game, so no other teams had played. What? Wait, read this thread, bro. Look at this thread. He said the fuck is an INT. Guy replies, interception. He goes, so he's sharing and caring, good for him, and a proud homosexual and zoophiliac, a true model for everyone, but he's on- <laughs> What? Oh, bro. What are you smoking, bro? He's smoking on that hack, bro. Why are you replying with what are you doing? Save? Save to save? I gotta edit that out, man! I thought, you know, to find an absolute gold mine, I thought I'd go to Tom Brady's Twitter. Here's Tom Brady's tweet. Year 22, let's fucking go. This is from the ninth. The first reply is such bait, dude. And honestly, Twitter is kind of a shithole. I hate people on Twitter. They fucking suck. But what I do love on Twitter is some of the copy pastas and just absolute fucking menacing trolls like this. Like people who do the, like, Mickey Mouse LeBron tweets and shit. Hot dog! Noah Gray Burner, clearly I'm a Holmes fan here, says, I've got the perfect playlist for Tom Fraudy. Number one, I'm a cheater. Number two, quit on New England featuring Derrick Henry. Number three, Meltdown featuring Nick Foles. Number four, thank you, Eli. Number five, thank you, reps. Number six, Super Bowl collapses. Number seven, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse featuring Mickey. I can't fucking wait to see the replies on this, bro. On the 12th day of Christmas, my fraud gave to me. This shit is so dumb. I can't even fucking read that. Tom Brady is actually 0-10 in the Super Bowl. The same fucking dude under his own tweet. It's such obvious bait. Why are people replying to this guy? His number 14 is Pete Carroll is a bozo. Number 20 is Chiefs O-line. Like, why are you taking this bait? Cheesy. Mm -hmm. Somebody reply with this. <laughs> Sounds like someone's jealous. You wish your QB had a chance at being as great as TB12. Remind me, which team won the Super Bowl? Looks good with eight rings. Oh my God, this shit is too funny. This is the kind of shit I like. Win a Super Bowl in Detroit. Prove the doubters wrong, please. I could get on board with that. I don't think there's a man in existence who could go to the Detroit Lions right now and make them a Super Bowl team. Not even Tom Brady. Yeah. Not a Tom Brady fan. Listen, guys, I'm not a Tom Brady fan, okay? But I gotta give him respect for doing the unbelievable. Taking the Bucks to the championship and winning it all. All in his first year and at his age, amazing. I wish I could deep throat his cock, but I'm not a Tom Brady fan, guys. I don't care at all about him. I just- Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, bud. Someone said Mahomes owns you and spelled it wrong. I find it funny that anyone can own Tom. He just replies, Mark Sanchez owns Brody. This shit's way too funny to me, bro. He's 0-2 against him. 2-0 in my book. I thought I'd give you guys a different video today. I thought this would be so funny, dude. Yeah, at the end of the day, I know he's the GOAT. This happens. When people get too big, their fans just get so shitty. I hope I stay right where I'm at in the YouTube world, where I have my dedicated oh. boys that I love. I don't want to be Jake Paws level, where I hate my own fans. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. We have bangers coming. That's all I can tell you. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.